Gardening. So today I got a new spreading video for you guys. So today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I mulch basically. So the three things we're gonna well, one thing we're gonna mulch today are are these three pots of right on front right here. What I planted. I'm also gonna see if I can mulch to that fourth pot right in my shade house that walks the entry right there. So basically I have this bag of mulch. I usually use red mulch because it's the best quality, the best thing, contrast. But we had three of these left over for a work my dad had and he decided to bring it for me to use them. So this is like a regular wood chip mulch that I use. And it's like great because it comes in bags like this. And this would fill these three and maybe a bit of that. So first things first, the thing I do is because usually in the morning we get direct heat sun and basically it wilts these down. But I'm going to see if this mulch will help it mulch right here and we'll go on from there but the thing I do basically so we're gonna open the bag up this mulch is really chunky but the thing is like with this is gonna be with these plants I think it's gonna look better so the thing I do is just grab handfuls and I just go ahead and mulch around the whole pot for no dirt to show. This is like a top layer, we'll say. For the dirt don't see, and I hope this doesn't bring that to So that's basically it for this one pot. It's easy as that. That's how it's going to look basically until this mulch wears out. I'm going to try to keep one of the bags extra in my shade house underneath the table. So for when this mulch like discolorates or turns to a different color, I could just scoop that mulch up, put it, throw it away and use that new bag of mulch. So let's go ahead and move on to the second one. So, quick update you guys. So, as you can see, there's two new pots up here. These two, they're gonna be bigger. So, I'm also gonna film a video for Mother's Day because I am surprising my mother. And I'm gonna put these up with new pots. I'm gonna try to film a new trip. I hope they do let me film, but we'll go ahead and see. But moving on, it's the same concept, but if you wanna like, read it earlier, but yeah. In this pot, I already had some type of problem growing in here. I had an ant infestation in this pot. And like, this is not the first time this pot has been infested with, with ants. And it's something I would not look forward to because you have to throw away the soil and get new soil. So, I do the same thing, like so, like the first one. And then we'll be right back when I'm done with this one and the other one. So guys, and I'm yeah. done with the three pots. They look perfect. This mulch, I might actually move on to this mulch. But as you can see, I barely even used half of the bag. This is so much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mulch that pot. And I think that's basically it for today. Or I might go ahead and mulch over there and some plants in here. But we'll move on to inside the, to that pot. So, okay, so guys, so this is basically the fourth pot that is in the right in the front of my shade house, as you can see here. So it basically has an iris, a potato vine, and some petunias. I didn't mention what type of plants were in front of these pots, but there's a wishbone flower, a begonia, a sylvia, and I forgot the name, but I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. But. Right here. So if you're wondering why is there ribbons here, it's because Sunday is Mother's Day and this is also for decorating for um, the surprise for my mom. But I'm also going to make a video about something, but I'm going to keep it secret until like a little bit just because I'm gonna, I don't want to spoil that surprise me. So I think that's it for the pots. And I think I want to go ahead and mulch my vegetable garden just because I want to make sure the weeds 
go down because I have a little heat. So let's okay, go over so there. Basically, you're gonna cover this whole area with mulch just to prevent a little bit of a little bit of weed production because as you can see, weeds are starting to grow here, and I just want to limit that down. There's also plants over here, but these I'm just gonna cover with mulch. I'm not even gonna bother weeding them because the weeds are gonna just rot. So I actually ended up bringing the two bags. Well, the half bag in this bag, because I don't know, because this is a pretty large area. So let me go ahead and get started. So let me finish this whole thing up and then we'll be right back. I have to go ahead and end up getting the third bag in here. As you can see, these two sides are mostly done, but... Lord, those bags are cute, but... This garden space is pretty big as well, so I'm gonna have to go run and get the third one as well. So let me go ahead and go do that real quick. And I'm gonna mulch this up. So, this is the final product. It's amazing. It looks way tidier, way cleaner. I know there's some weeds here and there, but um, if, if they get bigger and bigger, I'm just gonna hand pull them and it's gonna be fine. And if you have questions like, where did you get these bags of soil? These bags of soil, they gave it to my dad, but he, of course, has to pay for the down to give it to them. But I also, I'm gonna, if we run out and we need more projects, like to fill this whole area with mulch, or some other product that needs mulch. I'll ask him if he can bring some and I'll give him money to, to do it. So, this is the fin finished area right here. I love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. It's never been looking like this ever in years just because I thought it was not a good idea to mulch until Garden Answer, you shout out to her. Even though I shout out her in every other video, she's amazing. I see her putting mulch in her raised beds just because it prevents weeds. Because you might be like, how does this prevent weeds? Because weeds grow like this, they produce seed and they drop their seeds on the floor. Like I had no mulch in these raised in this raised bed or my garden. This would fill up with all sorts of type of weeds because these keep going in. These keep going in and fall on the dirt and they grow like regular seeds. So I also put a little bit of mulch right in the back to prevent weeds going there as well. And this will be like that. So every single time it will wear off, I'll make sure to make a video of these wearing off and me maybe scraping off the mulch or just putting a new layer on top of it. And yeah, so this is the final product right here. As you can see. And yeah. So basically, thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and if you want to support this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button because we're almost at 100 we can do this guys and also if you want to see my recent videos right here make sure to go check them out just to keep your garden flourishing and producing for you so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one